Kenduka on his way, starts off with the boundary. No ball signal, just drifting on the leg stump. No ball put away before. That is juicy. And Kenduka has helped himself. Beautiful timing. Third boundary for Tendulkar. And the good thing was he wasn't really reaching out for the ball. He, was, he allowed the ball to come onto the bat. That's beautifully played again. This is loose stuff from Rana. And it gets the treatment. This time it's Sevag. He's looking for movement. There's no movement there. That's coming to the offside. With an offer and Seva onto it in a flash. Meaty blow. It's balling all over the place, Rana Navid. <laughs> For the all over the shop, you said. Good placement. Very risky from Sevak. We'll get another boundary. 39 for no loss. That's true. And it will be four. Late adjustment by Tendulka. Played it fine down to third man. And it's four. Third man fielder. A bit too wide. Nicely played by Tendulkar. Oh, he could be in trouble here. Hari Haran has called for the third umpire, but Sehwag is walking. He's walking towards the dressing room. He knows he's out. We'll still have to wait for the official. Mahendra Singh Dhoni walks in at number three. Last ball of the over. Again, punch nicely on the offside before. Tony on the move. 72 for one. Great shot. This time he was nicely set up for that line outside the off stump. Look at the margin for error for the bowler. He's just a foot away from that middle stump. And it's cost him four runs. Great shot again. It's another four consecutive boundaries to finish the over. It's 82 for one. It makes Tendulka do something different. And he smashed it into the crowd, gave himself room. Didn't allow a freebie to settle down. Mid on was up. Now he's definitely uh, on 50. Officially a 50 for Tendulkar and this partnership also crossing 50. He's gone up in the air and he's got the distance. Area from round the wicket. And so re reverse sweep. That's a strong hit from Sachin Tendulkar. Almost carried that uh, for a six. But that was vicious. It wasn't a paddle, which we're used to seeing in reverse sweeps. But take a look at this for a reverse sweep. I've seen him play left-handed in the nets also. I mean, so he's quite ambidextrous, this man, Tendulkar. Down the track, raises the 100 run partnership with a lovely boundary. This is good aggressive cricket from Sachin Tendulkar. Age will get him a boundary. It's a no ball as well. That's a biggie. 
It's Shahid Afridi who's trying to get underneath that one. That's hit the cameraman. Now that has hit our cameraman. Shahid Afridi trying to get underneath that one. And the ball hit him on his head. And that poor chap is on the ground. That is very unfortunate because he's got his head buried in the camera. Fortunately, at least he had a towel on his head. But it landed square on his head. And it bounced back onto the ground. That is a severe hit. Oh, missed it. It's a let off for Dhoni. Played. They've gone for the appeal and yes, given out, caught behind. Good catch by Kamran Akmal. He redeemed himself very quickly. After missing a sitter behind the stumps, he's taken a beauty. Now, those catches are not easy. Bit of back. He gets there. His 38th one-day 100. Remarkable achievement. Absolutely, and what a time to come back into form. Very important game, and he's struggling a bit. And that's four. He did that in his first spell, drifted too often onto the pads. Still, Fahil Inzamam might have been better off uh, getting a spinner, someone like Danish Canaria. That's gone to, to wait for the umpire's signal here. Down the track and another stumping. Goes to ground. A great opportunity here for Kamran Akmal. And he's feeling the heat. A run out. Oh, has he made it in time? Rudy Kurtzson will call for the TV umpire. Seems like Ganguly may have made it. But Yunus Khan thinks otherwise. Shweb Malik, you threw the ball. And I think he's gone. He is gone. That bat uh, probably not grounded. Kamran Akmal whipped the bails off. He's short of the crease. So he'll have to leave the crease. His red light is on. He wasn't aware. He thought he had made it, so he was surprised. Bowl him. Bowl round the legs. And Shoaib Malik has struck. And Tendulkar has played a superb innings here. 123. Before cramps got to him, the last five or six overs has been a real struggle. It's been a while since I've seen him play the way, the way he has done in this inning. It's not just about the 100. 100. Well played by Travis. Andre at the right time for India. It's 254 for four. Another loose delivery, another boundary. And the pattern continues. Great shot. This is such an outstanding shot. Three fielders deep on the leg side. He manages to find the gap. Terrific shot. That's why this man is so... Big one, but not big enough. Straight to the fielder. It's Rana Naveed in the deep and Dravid perishes. In fact, it's gone all the way. It lands on the skirting, so that's the six. The skirting. Ball in. The two extremes of the game. Four of the first ball. The next ball. The stump lying flat on the ground for India. Once again, he finds the gap. How he does that is beyond me. Brings up the 300 and Yuvraj Singh is playing a terrific innings. The off spinner. 
great hitting. This is uh, just tremendous hitting from you, Brad Singh. Oh, uh, it's just getting worse for Pakistan. They four wides. 17 runs of the over so far. He's going to come back for the second, Zahir Khan. So, two runs of the last ball. That's 19 runs of the last over. And India have got 315 on the board. And mind you, this is a 48 over match. And there he goes. Off the mark with the boundary. It's 10 for no loss. That's a good shot. Very good shot. The short, wide, asking to be hit. We still have to put it away. Uh, he goes for this one. That is a monster blow. That's a freebie for you. Only fractionally short, but he's heaved it in front of mid-wicket. God, monster is right. Just take a look at that. What a cracking shot. On the rise, it wasn't even that short. In fact, this was the ideal length actually targeted for a freebie. In fact, they would be wanting to bowl this kind of a length to him. And take a look at that. Edge and between first and second slip. Nera is not happy. Pakistan will take that. 26 for no loss. Freedy going hard at one outside the off stump. The ball going between the keeper and first slip. Always has to be the keeper's catch here. Absolutely. I, I got the impression that he pulled out of that one that last instant, thinking that he probably blocking the view for Dravid, who was sitting behind that one. But there was a tremendous gap between the two. Just a long slip. Misjudged that one. It's up, and it goes. One bounce over the rope. That's in the air. Just out of the reach of the fielder. In fact, it's gone for six. Can you believe it? First impression was it was a miss hit. Afridi is looking at the bottom of his bat. It may have hit the bottom of the bat, but it's cleared the ground comfortably. Really, this has got to be an amazing hit. You're absolutely right. It did hit the bottom. It was the splice. It had enough elevation for us to think that the fielder might be interested. But take a look at that. There's no second step, and that'll find the boundary. It's been a little unlucky, Nero. Very good delivery. Just beat the outside edge of the bat. The ball playing well is to just get quicker and shorter. That makes it even more easy. That ball also swung. And pretty ordinary effort in the field. I think it's the Shish Nara who's let his bowler down. Short and put away. That is how he plays. So doesn't matter. That's in the air. That'll be taken. It's Sachin Tendulkar who says mine and yes. Balaji has picked up our preview. Pakistan lose their ace opener. Well, it seems like it's going to be Sachin Tendulkar's day. He's taken a very important catch. And he had all the time in the world to think about how important this catch was. Look at the time that he had. Came under the ball, called its mine, and a safe catch to get rid of our breathing. 68 to 1. It's Abdul Razak who has taken the position as a number three batsman. Coming back as a fielding team. Beautifully put away. He's so natural with his. Uh, Hands and eyes. Great coordination. 
Oh, that's a great shot. Stand and deliver. What a shot to finish the over. 86 for one. He plays this shot well. And once again, so risky. Get a boundary for it. It's a good shout, very good shout. And Karthik strikes straight away in his first over. It's good bowling by the left arm spinner. And he goes for the big one, he's hold out. A full toss from Tendulkar gets a wicket. Well, would you be Pakistan's most experienced player. to the air and put down Yuvraj Singh seemed to have it under control and just grabbed it in the end he can't believe it it was straightforward for someone as good as Yuvraj this is a real let off for Shoaib Malik this well it's almost too easy didn't get off the ground too much but he can't believe it somebody like Yuvraj 100% application of focus the batting has been pretty good. The fielding and the bowling in this match from both teams has been very average. Slow ball. And it's put that away. There it is, 50 for Shoaib Malik. Second consecutive 50 for Shoaib Malik in this competition. Bob Bulma is pretty pleased, and so is the young man. Looks relatively new, and the pace has been used beautifully by Shoaib Malik. Great shot. And brings the 50 partnership between these two players. Beautiful shot. Didn't make you pay for that. Yes, you're looking for a wicket. That should be four. Right down the leg side, and just thumped on its head. But this time he's gone inside out and maybe he's got his man, he has. Murli Karthik coming round the wicket has got his man. Wanting to play it inside out, did connect it well Malik, but couldn't quite find the gap or the fence. Well, India have got their wish. They've got rid of a set batsman. This should bring in now. Saurav Ganguly is coming at slip. There's a little bit of turn that's gone away again. Fine. Third man. Then run away for four. It's in the air. The field are getting under it. And they've got the man. Wicket number five goes down. Could we be seeing a change happening here? Yusuf Johanna walks back, sucked into that pole, straight down Balaji's throat. Here Khan. That's been cut away. Can it be blocked? It just passes under Karthik. And that expression of Zahir Khan says it all. Four more to Inzamam. Just the class of the man. It wasn't such a bad delivery from Zahir Khan angling the ball away. That is his natural angle. Now he wanted more support from the field. Karthik got there. But uh, desperate effort coming to not a fruitful end. In the air, but he's found the gap just eluding the mid off fielder. They've got two. And they want to come back. That can be close. Yes, they got his man. That is a lovely throw right into the hands of the Hinkan. They ran two. They didn't expect to go for the third. Ashish Nehra was a little tardy releasing the ball but once he did it was really on target Indians are hopeful Yunus Khan is gone he is short of the crease there you see the stumps broken he's trying to drag the bat but uh, not in time the red light will come on a huge wicket for the Indians 
absolutely needless from Yunus Khan. But India need a bit of luck and it has come their way. That's in the air but it's also in the gap. That is a splendid hit for four. What a shot. Great shot under pressure. And I think Arun is praying for Pakistan, not for India. That is an absolutely exquisite shot. Wonderful fielding as well in the end. Restricting it to two. He wants one and he's got to have to hurry. That's a great hit. And I think they've got the man. That is another splendid Ashish Nehra throw. It's going to be tight. Body language suggests that the Indians feel that they have their man. We'll wait and see. The expression suggests that he's a goner. It's Ashish Nehra who's hit the bulls up. He's played it fine, that'll run away for four. A welcome boundary for Pakistan. Also brings up the 300. 301 for seven. Then the match in Pakistan's favor. He's gone for it. And that is a splendid piece of fielding there by Sachin Tendulkar at the deep square leg fence. Definitely saved two runs there. Standard of feeling in the last 45 minutes have been absolutely outstanding from India. They've uh, got runouts, ground fielding has been good, catching has been very good. Balaji has got a couple of uh, good catches under pressure. And now it's Sachin Tendulkar. Once one and he'll get it. And that is Inzamam's 50 of just 49 deliveries. What a valuable innings this has been. That is his quality, to produce the innings under pressure. Came in the middle of the innings, has not panicked, is there till the end, which is what Pakistan uh, require. 79th ODI 50 and 10th versus India, tremendous track record. Really a wonderful innings under the circumstances. He's wanting to come back, Tendulkar is charging for it, big throw comes in, but in the arm. He may look slow, but he's got long strides. This is turning out to be uh, one great knock from Inzamam Ulaki. He's run beautifully between the wickets and look at his placement every time spot on. He reads uh, the script so well, he knew exactly how hard he had hit the ball, how much distance had Sachin Tendulkar to travel to come to the ball. And in the end took a chance and a reasonable chance to come back for the second. 22 singles and 7 twos. That's a lot of running for Inzamam. Wonderful innings. In the mouth, can't get that away. The crowd up on their seats, they thought it was a catch in the covers. This is good bowling from Sachin. He's got the pressure back on Pakistan now. He can even afford a smile, sort of Ganguly. Can Inzamam now afford to take a single? And waited out at the non strikers end. Four deliveries to go, three runs to get. Inzamam has gone for it. And he comes back for the second. The scores are tied. Inzamam not out 56. He's in strike. One run for Pakistan to win. Three balls to be bowled. Lovely shot from Inzamam. He read the faster one from Sachin Tendulkar. Now Pakistan cannot lose the game. Well, they should bring all the fielders in. Everybody should be in the circle. I don't understand. I can't believe this. Oi! Still two balls to go. They can afford to give a boundary. Why don't they get everybody in? I'm as dumbstruck as you, Arun. I hope the scoreboard is right. I hope we are right. The scoreboard is right. But somewhere, somebody is missing a trick. I hope it's not us. But certainly, Pakistan are tied. 315 for 7. Well, one more to go. And still the field is not coming in. This is unbelievable. 
this is unbelievable. I can't quite fathom this out. Remis, can you? Now, Saurav Ganguly wanted to go and have a word with Sachin Tendulkar. I think the captain wanted the fielders to come in. But Sachin Tendulkar still wants the field to come from the edge of the circle line. Zamaam ul -Haq will not mind this one bit. He's gone to Mohamed Sami. In fact, he's going to uh, have a word with uh, the umpire asking him how many balls left. Now, this is one delivery. There's a mini-team meeting taking place out there in Lightly. So, I think it's Raul Dravid who has got them together. And I think they're all trying to convince Sachin Tendulkar. Look, you're playing your cards wrongly here. You've got to have fielders in. There's one more required. Let them take a chance. really beats me very lucky really to uh, get away with it Sachin Tendulkar in Zamam ul had a couple of deliveries really to, to just tap the ball around in the corner and run for that single but every time on two occasions in fact he had hit the ball straight to the fielders now this is exciting everyone in trying to stop the one one that's more like it finally the penny is dropped Inzamam will have to go over the top. Everybody is close in to save that single. Last ball. And it's true, Inzamam has done it. That is a splendid effort by Inzamam ul Haq in Pakistan. For the first time in their cricketing history, they have achieved a target of over 300 runs to win a one-day international. This is smashing stuff from Inzamam ul Haq. He did not lose his cool, his stature, his temperament and when it came to hitting that ball in the gap, he was up for it. Sachin Tendulkar tried, it was a good move from Saur Saurav Ganguly really to employ him. And now it's a happy Pakistan camp, they've drawn the series level. Well, what a performance by Inza Mahmoud Haq and Pakistan. They never took excessive risks, they were always in control, 315 appeared to be a very very difficult ask on and in these conditions but they've done it and they've done it handsomely once again so two wins on the trot getting 300 plus runs today they chased it for the first time the team chasing is one and this is also the fourth highest total ever achieved to win a one-day international he's got a tremendous track record track record a proven track record to play well in fact brilliantly well under pressure there are some sad faces. Crowds were desperate for an Indian victory here in Ahmedabad. Not to be because Pakistan came good just when it required.